and it's so sad. We got about seven minutes left in our program, but we want to take this time to say thank you to Operation Unite for what you're doing out here working with our law enforcement. They're doing a phenomenal job. Um, and you know, different types of drug, meth is a, a killer. Meth is just widespread. Alcohol is also another vast bad drug you never know you might be passing a drunk driver out on the highways and so many countless times you've heard about injuries and fatalities on the highways innocent people being run over by a drunk driver or somebody that's under the influence of medication pills you know that's same as being intoxicated drunk and we can put a stop to this um we we can help um I, I would like to challenge um, the, the, the Christians, the children of God who are watching this program or listening to this program and um, to become a part of your community coalition. Um, a, each county has one. And, uh, and you, can, um, you can contact me. Uh, my email address is cvarney at centertech.com. You can email me. Um, you can email me even if you disagree with something that we've said today. I don't. I don't mind that at all. We can. We can talk about some things. Um, we. We like to learn about what's going on in our communities. But. But if you want to uh, get in contact with your local coalition, then um, you know contact me, and uh, and and we'll point you in the right direction. And um, I would also like to to say something about. Um, the Unite Clubs that we have. Mm. Part of the, uh, the education team, um, we have a youth program coordinator. Her name is Micah Rogers, and um, she works with Unite Clubs, and it's just like one of the regular clubs at school, you mm. know, like uh, the, the chess club or the beta club, you know, um, um, and it is an, uh, a drug-free club Very good. In, in schools, and Unite um, helps to give money to each one of those clubs all throughout our region, mm -hmm. and um, and they do some awesome, awesome things for our kids, and and really help to educate them, and uh, because they're the they're the future. Exactly. We we need to put um, our focus in prevention, you know, with our children, mm -hmm. and uh, and teaching them that there there is a better way, that mm -hmm. there there's an alternative to a lot of the stuff that they've seen, because they know a lot exactly. about what's going on, and and we also we also do uh, unite camp. Oh. Um. Once a, once a year, that's usually the the last week of July. We go down to the University of the Cumberlands, and we we uh, we make that um, totally free. For, right. for those for those uh, middle schoolers is, is who we, we uh, have at the camp and the University of Cumberlands lets us uh, use their dorm rooms to, to stay in and uh, those kids uh, have a have a great week a lot of them wouldn't be able to go to a camp mm. you know throughout the summer but they get to be a part of this one and uh, we help to educate them and they really really have a great time mm -hmm. the, the, the whole week long and uh, and so that's coming up and and um, we can use help at any time, and and also to the to the to the churches and to the people who are sitting back and and they would like to do something, but they don't know what to do. Um, we need Christian men and women to mentor children, oh, to spend good. time in children's life. Like I said of our kids aren't living with either one of their parents right mm. now you know we have a fatherless generation here and uh, you know we've lost a lot of their parents to this drug addiction oh, that's and so, so they need men and women of God to become spiritual fathers and mothers mm -hmm. to these kids to just spend some time and speak life into them to, to look at their strengths and uplift them and and uh, and, and show them love, oh, the that's love so of good. God. So. The love. That's love wins. Yeah. That's that's what it is right there. We've got a couple of minutes left in the program. Once again, we want to give out this tip line. If you see some suspicious activity going on, make sure to call one 866 424 4382 And uh, all you can be confidential. You don't have to give your name or number or address or nothing like that. And we want to take this time to say thank you 
for what you're doing for our community. And you can see so many people's lives have been devastated over drugs, alcohol, marijuana, any type of uh, drug addiction like this. It's just been destroying people's lives, and we can make a difference in this. Yeah, and we could do a whole other show just on marijuana itself. Mm. And it's something that we have, as a society, have been overlooking for a while. And, uh, you know, it's starting to uh, to rear its head in, in Kentucky mm. now with, uh, you know, the hemp legislation coming about and, you know, uh, talk of, of legalizing medicinal marijuana. Mm. And what we've found in the school systems already is that the use of alcohol and tobacco has gone way down. Mm. But the use of marijuana among our teenagers is skyrocketing, mm. and it really affects their mental development. And, uh, and it is a gateway drug. To uh, I've never known anyone that's just done marijuana. Mm. It always is a supplement to, uh, to harder, harder things that, that really, really destroy a person. And it's a shame. The devil is using this on our young people, um, in our communities, just destroying people's lives. And it's just like I'm reminded of a verse in the Bible, count the cost. If a lot of people would only count the cost, they wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't start this drug addiction because that's what it's going to lead to is an addiction, uh, jail time, just different things will start to happen, and it won't be very good at all. But you know what? We're so thankful for Operation Unite coming and being with us. Thank you, Mr. Carl Varney. My pleasure. And for all you're doing. And until next week, we're running out of time. This has been the local and community issues and answers right here on WVTN.